If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 17 video. And guys, today, what we have is our top five wide receivers heading into the game. These, again, guys, are not the ratings for their ultimate team cards, their base elites. These are the car These are the attributes that the guys are going to have outside of ultimate teams. So in franchise mode, in standard head-to-head, -head, in, you know, potentially any other game mode that they might have in this year's game. So, again, not their ultimate team uh, attributes, but definitely ones that you should be kind of aware of heading into the season. So with that said, let's start things off here at number five. And it's actually not really number five because the bottom three guys here are all tied at 93 overall. The first one of them is DeAndre Hopkins, who had a big time breakout season this past year. Big, big attributes for him going into Madden this year. 92 speed, 97 catching, 98 spectacular catch. He made some amazing spectacular catches last year. Year. So it's definitely cool to see him get that high spectacular catch rating. Then you've got a 96 for a catch in traffic and a 95 for route running. Excellent overall attributes for Hopkins. Speed is decent. It's not the highest that we're going to see this year, but definitely good enough to be a, a quality wide receiver one for any team. Uh, and I think with the Texans, it's going to be pretty obvious that DeAndre Hopkins is going to be the guy that they go to early and often this season. Moving on now to our next player, and we've got a guy who is actually the cover athlete for Madden 16, and that is Odell Beckham Jr. Now, I have to say I'm a little bit surprised that this is not a higher rated player. Now, I'm not going to say that he necessarily should be. I mean, 93 overall is a really, really nice starting attribute. And if you look at the attributes that he has here, the 93 speed, the 97 agility, the 99 spectacular catch, 92 catch in traffic, and 96 route running, there's not really anything to complain about, but I'm actually a little bit surprised that they didn't make him at least like a 95 overall. I'm a little bit surprised that he's not ahead of DeAndre Hopkins and the next guy on this list. Not Again, not necessarily saying that he should be, but I'm definitely just surprised by it because EA typically takes their players that are on the cover of their games and they just make them ridiculous. Like <laughs> That's been kind of a tradition in Madden for years and years, and it's it's hard to blame them for doing it, but you know it's just one of those things. Again, I'm a little bit surprised to see that his attributes aren't a little bit higher to make him the 95, 96 overall uh, that we're going to see on some of these other players. But uh, the last guy who is a 93 overall today is uh, AJ Green. Now, AJ Green is a guy who I think a lot of people are going to really like playing with. Now, he does only have the 91 speed, which is a little bit slower than what we would like to see out of an elite wide receiver. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not as high as we would hope for. But one thing that he does have that stands out to me, 97 jumping. Now, I've heard from a couple people that have played the game so far that jumping is a lot more important in Madden 17 than it was in Madden 16. And as we all know, it was still pretty important in Madden 16, and it was really important in Madden 15. So I, I'm kind of thinking it's going to be a little bit more in line with what we saw in Madden 15. So a guy that's six foot four that has 97 jumping and still has really nice attributes elsewhere with the, with the 95 catching, the 94 catching traffic, and then he's also still got 95 route running. I mean, that is a really, really nice player. I think A.J. Green is going to be one of the more fun players to play with and just chuck it up to him and see what he can do, see if he can come down with it in traffic. I think A.J. Green is going to be a lot of fun to play with this year. Moving on now to the number two wide receiver to start the season, and it shouldn't be any surprise to anybody, Julio Jones, 96 overall, a big jump from the three previous guys that we looked at. Those guys were all 93. He is a 96 overall. Kind of interesting that they gave him that much of a boost over the other guys, but I mean, Julio deserves it. He has been so good over the past few seasons, and really, quite frankly, since he came into the league, he's been an elite wide receiver. 93 speed, 98 catching, 96 jumping, 95 catching traffic, and a 94 route running. So he's basically just kind of like an upgraded version of A.J. Green. If you look at it like that, I mean, really, the attributes are very, very similar. He's a little bit faster. He's one lower in jumping, but he's a little bit higher in pretty much everything else. So, yeah, Julio Jones, definitely another really nice player. And I think that, you know, everybody that's using the Falcons on offense with Devonta Freeman at running back, and you're also going to have some good players uh, at other positions as well. Julio Jones is going to be the guy, though, that the offense runs around. And, and quite frankly, that's the way that it should be. That's how it is in real life as well. 
So last but not least, guys, this one shouldn't come as any surprise whatsoever. We have Antonio Brown. He's been the best wide receiver in the league for the past few seasons. I don't think there's any question about it. He gets it done on all areas of the field. He's not only a good possession receiver, but also a good deep threat. He does punt returns for them on occasion. I mean, like, this guy is just a crazy good athlete and a really, really good player. And I think he deserves this 97 overall uh, starting attribute. 93 speed, 98 agility, 99 catching, 97 elusiveness, and 98 route running. So obviously, this is going to be an awesome player to use in Madden. Now, one thing that he doesn't show here is we don't get to see his jumping. And, and you know, obviously, we know Antonio Brown is not the tallest receiver. So he's maybe not going to be the best guy to go up and do the crazy, spectacular catches in traffic. But he should be able to create the separation to not necessarily even have to do that. So I think this is going to be the best wide receiver in the game this year. But I want to hear from you guys. Who are you most excited to use? Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a comment there. And, of course, guys, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you guys again soon.